So today I'm going to break down how a brand new artist can get to 100,000 streams on Spotify using the case study of my friend who I have referenced in multiple videos over the course of the past year because we've been working on his music and it's been fun stuff. So in the interest of being totally honest, I've got to tell you that I actually wanted to wait like another week to make this video because my friend is currently at almost 98,000 streams and he's going to be at 100,000 streams in like three or four days but I was just getting tired of waiting, so I just decided to make the video. So you'll see that we're at 98,000 streams, not 100,000 streams, but just round up and give us the benefit of the doubt. So there are five things that I'm gonna break down that we did to get to the 100K stream mark. And the cool thing about this is that you don't need a ton of connections, you don't need a ton of music out in the world. Basically, these are steps you can follow as a brand new artist, which is what my friend was. In April, he had literally no music in the world, and now he only has three songs, so it's not like he has an extensive catalog. But we were able to do these things to get him to 100,000 streams. And last but not least, I'm going to do my best to blink in this video because I really just have a hard time like blinking when I'm staring at the camera. I don't know, I am not a robot or a lizard or an AI, but I am apparently somebody who would be very good at staring contests. And with that out of the way, let's flip around to the computer screen and I will walk through the five steps that we followed to get to 100,000 streams with a brand new artist. So here we are in the artist dashboard and we're looking at the audience tab and just the overview of the last 12 months. So this is all three songs that the artist has put out and we're right at 97,000, about 98,000 streams. So very close to 100,000. So you can get a sense of the journey here and I'm just going to walk through some of the points on this graph as we go or refer back to this because you can get a sense for the five different things that we've done to drive these streams. So to start, number one is Submit Hub. So as you can see, my friend has three songs released into the world, but with the very first track, we ran a Submit Hub campaign, and then with the second track, we also ran a Submit Hub campaign. And so if we go back here, the Submit Hub campaign was right around here, right at the beginning after we released that first song, and then somewhere in around here when we put out the second song. And so what that did was give us a quick boost of streams. Like you can see if you're just going on these days when you first put out the song, almost nobody's streaming it, and then bam, we start to get some playlisting support. We spend right around $100 on Submit Hub to send the song to about 50 curators. And out of that spend, we got about 5,000 streams. And I'll show you what some of those look like in the playlist section for the music. So here are some of the listener playlists that we were placed on. Bedtime Chill, Soft Indie Folk, Any Night Sleep Well. All these are Submit Hub playlists that we were added to, and they're all within the realm of the genre. And yeah, they just drove a pretty solid amount of streams over the course of the last year. Now, the second thing we did was run a meta ads campaign. So I actually started the Submit Hub campaign first, and then right around here in May, we started running meta ads at $10 a day, sending users directly to my friend's profile. So at some point soon, I will do a breakdown of what I'm seeing work in meta ads right now. But for this video, I'll just give you a brief overview of the campaign and how much we spent and what the ads themselves have looked like. So here's the campaign in Facebook Ads Manager. It's a really simple Spotify conversion campaign, and we've gotten just over 6,000 link clicks at a cost per result of 35 cents. At the ad set level, we are just targeting tier one countries with only a Spotify interest. So I did not set other artists as interest targets, and I've got a very wide open age range. But I've got a pretty narrow selection of countries that we're targeting. And then the ads themselves are pretty basic. It is just some stock footage, actually. Kind of looks like a home video or something, and we just have some basic text with the name of the song and the artist. And these are just going to a landing page on Hyped It, and then from the landing page, we are sending users to the Spotify profile, so right to the main profile. And that's translating to a decent amount of followers. And we've literally been spending 10 bucks a day on this campaign since May. And so we're just over $2,000 in ad spend. And yeah, that's where things are at with that. That had a slow and steady impact on growth, as you can see. And you can see like the uptick a little bit in May. But then as you get into July, things calm down a little bit. And then boom, we have some spikes and reach a new level of growth here. These spikes are not directly due to the meta ads, but they are due to the third thing that I'm gonna talk about, which is triggering Discover Weekly. Basically what we did was just run the Submit Hub, run the meta ads, and then kept racking up the good data. And at a certain point, you can see we just got these little blips, blip, blip, and it just kept ticking up higher. Even as recently as this Monday, 
our biggest chunk of streaming came from Discover Weekly. So the algorithm has been liking the music. So we've got about 17,000 streams from Discover Weekly over the course of the year. Two songs have been on the playlist, but the one that we've spent far more time and money promoting has far more streams. This other song that was released next has only 15 streams from Discover Weekly, but hey, still got on Discover Weekly. Maybe that'll tick up over the next 12 months. So after we saw these spikes from Discover Weekly, the fourth and final thing we did to promote the music was to enter the songs into Spotify's discovery mode. So there are mixed thoughts on how this works, but the basic premise is that they will try to give your song more radio play and they will take a 30% cut of the royalties from the streams. And we just opted into that in November. And you can see we didn't get you know, the same peak that we had, but we also have this new kind of baseline level. And then here in December, we have started to get a couple more peaks from Discover Weekly. So if I go into campaigns, I'll just show you the results from that one discovery mode campaign that we ran. According to Spotify, they drove 5,443 streams. We'll just take them at their word. And that's a bunch more, like almost 5,000 more streams than we would get from radio before discovery mode. And then the fifth and final promotional thing is other stuff and this just includes some shows that my friend played over the course of the year he wasn't super active in booking gigs but he did play some shows mostly house shows and then he also did some kind of intermittent instagram posting nothing super regular but he does have a little bit of an audience on instagram so there were some other channels where listeners might have been coming in so here's the final breakdown with some rounded numbers spent two thousand two hundred seventy dollars about and ended up with about 100,000 streams. By far the most streams were coming from meta ads with that just consistent $10 a day of ad spend. And we also got the nice little bump from Submit Hub and then bumps from Spotify's algorithmic stuff. And I'm estimating that about 3,000 streams came from those other sources. So that was the five step process to 100,000 streams. If this was interesting to you, I have a case study that goes into more detail on another song that we got 250,000 streams on. You can download that at twostorymelody.com slash case study, and I will put the link below this video too. And then if you want a more detailed breakdown of meta ads, I will put a link to a video I did on that. And I'll also put a link to one of the videos I did on the Submit Hub campaign. So hope the video is helpful as always, and wishing you good luck as you get streams for your own music. You got this.